masterpiece. Every year, the board NBA media, as the NFL's pulling away because it's the playoffs and we're all talking about it, and the NBA's got to come up with narratives and stories to fill their space, fawn over somebody going off in January. And the new NBA is all about, about guard play. And so the usage rate, somebody shows off Harden, uh, you know, uh, uh, Westbrook, and we all go, oh, my God, this is Slam Magazine's going to have a 14-page spread on James Harden. NBA writers have already sealed their envelopes on James Harden. It should be noted this is not sustainable, and in the last eight games, the Rockets are 4-4, four and four, and their wins are over the worst team in the league, the Cavs, the New York Knicks, who are awful, the Lakers without LeBron, and the Grizzlies, who have a win won this month. For the record, um, fans are much more in tune to this act than the media, who's fawning over it. The fans don't think it's that fascinating. James Harden is seventh in the West in all-star voting. Seventh. It's ISO ball. It never lasts. And even if Clay Thompson, who scored all 44 of his points and who actually likes to play defense and be a good teammate, all, all 44 of Clay Thompson's points came from an assist from a teammate. None of Harden's 211 have. And I know. Paul and Clint Capella injuries are part of the usage rate. But even if Steph and Draymond were out for the Warriors, you know a large percentage of Clay Thompson's points would have come via a Warrior assist to him. It's not sustainable. It creates resentment. And when Chris Paul comes back, Harden's going to have to dramatically shift his game and it will mean the end of this team probably in the first round I don't buy this for a second I don't have to cover the NBA and make stories that really don't create sustainability I, I don't have to make them into 12 page articles I don't buy this for a second uh, let me shift to this. Um, you ever heard of Tony Robbins? He's that motivational speaker. That guy's been that guy's been kicking butt since I was a kid, like forty years. And a lot of people are cynical, cynical with Tony Robbins. Oh, come on, rah rah rah, folks! You do not last forty years. He's more powerful today than he's ever been. It's all about with Tony Robbins, the buy-in. He stands on a stage, 6,000 people, I'm going to change your life. And for some, he does. Also deals with CEOs, rock stars, the greatest athletes in the world. Tony Robbins is all, all about buy-in and a lot. A lot of people are cynical of buy-in. Tom Brady is the sports version of Tony Robbins. He is the best player on an 18-year dynasty. And he has convinced everybody, everybody in New England that nobody likes us, nobody believes in us, nobody thinks we can win, which sounds absurd on its face. And Tony Robbins yelling, screaming on stage, changing your life, similarly, sounds ridiculous. But when the star can sell it, buy-in is an incredibly powerful tool. Do you see that game, Kansas City, there's now footage of Edelman screaming at Brady. He has got everybody on this team believing 
Nobody believes in us. Here it is. Nice ball. Nice ball. Baby. Thanks, baby. Thanks, baby. Good job, baby. Way to go, host. Good job, fellas. You're too old. You're too old. You're too old. Tom's got everybody buying in. Like Tony Robbins has for 40 years. And you can be cynical, but it's powerful. Think about this. When you become a legend, you're not only battling rivals, you're kind of battling yourself. You got the money. You got the trophies. You got the supermodel wife. You have the legacy. And it's really hard. Your opponents aren't hard. Beating you. The psychology of it's hard. Let's think about this. Tiger Woods became a legend. He couldn't handle it. He went off the rails. Women, money, gambling. Tiger Woods couldn't handle it. Michael Jordan had to retire. Not to go to the NFL, to play minor league baseball. Michael's like, it's too much. I, I got I to gotta retire. Conor McGregor, complete meltdown. Lance Armstrong tried to ruin everybody's life in cycling. Forget a psychopath. He was a cyclopath. LeBron James tends to move his family and just exit. That's how he copes. Tom Brady stays put, reinvents. Nobody believes in us. That's as impressive as it gets. Kevin Durant has won back-to-back -back titles with the Warriors. I'm reading a story this morning. He's already restless. Kevin Durant's not struggling with opponents now. They'll win the third straight championship. Kevin Durant struggling with Kevin Durant. That's why he's on Twitter and Instagram and burner accounts. He's struggling with Kevin Durant. This ha happens in and out of sports. Elvis was the biggest star in America. He became fat Elvis. Drugs Elvis. Michael Jackson got weird. Bill Clinton, most powerful political figure in the world. Monica. Mike Tyson, personal demons, similarly, Whitney Houston. It's hard because once, once you become an iconic American sports, entertainment, political icon, you're not just battling others. Kevin Durant, beating teams isn't hard. Staying disciplined, staying present, staying in the moment. Convincing yourself is really, really difficult. Tiger couldn't handle it. MJ needed a break. Clinton couldn't handle it. Elvis couldn't handle it. Lance Armstrong couldn't handle it. They had everything. The money, the trophies, the fawning, the legacy, the women, the wives, the girlfriend. They had all of it. And here's Tom Brady. 41, ninth Super Bowl, $800 million net worth, Super model my wife and he's going nowhere and he has convinced himself he is so strong emotionally he has convinced himself nobody believes in me nobody believes in us and buy-in is an incredibly powerful thing you can be cynical at Tony Robbins and you can be cynical of Brady but in both instances, it works. Coming up next, one of the biggest stars in American sports. He's fantastic. And nobody apparently wants him. That's coming up. When it comes to meat, quality matters. Okay? Uh, that's why my family and I are now into Butcher Box. It's delivered to your door every month. Their meat's guaranteed, humanely raised, no hormones ever. Butcher Box beef, grass-fed, grass-finished, chickens organic, range-free. Cuts in quality, impossible to find in stores. And it comes at a competitive price. Free shipping, so you can get a month's worth of delicious meat from Butcher Box for less than six bucks a meal. They ship it to you for free. Announcing their brand new protein, wild Alaskan sockeye salmon, had that uh, Sunday night. For a limited time, 
ButcherBox is offering my listeners two pounds of a wild Alaskan sockeye salmon, $20 off two.